Dr. Anthony Fauci responding tonight to Elon Musk after Musk tweeted, and I quote, my pronouns are prosecute Fauci. Fauci spoke to our David Axelrod in a podcast that's out on Thursday. Here is a first on Outfront preview. I don't respond to him. I don't pay any attention to him because that's merely a distraction. And if you get drawn into that, and I have to be honest, that cesspool of interaction, it, it, it's, there's no value added to that, David. It doesn't help anything. It comes as Musk received booze as well as some cheers last night at a Dave Chappelle show in San Francisco, showing what a total lightning rod Musk has become. Watch this. Elon. Uh, I think it's generous there to say there were some cheers. There were some, but that was uh, some pretty overwhelming booing, uh, and it has seemed to uh, seem to take Musk a bit aback. Out front now, David Axelrod, host of the Axe Files podcast, also former senior advisor to President Obama and our senior political commentator. So, David, when you talk to Dr. Fauci and he talks about that cesspool of interaction, yeah. uh, pretty remarkable comment referring to to Twitter. What else did Fauci tell you in response to Musk? Well, he was he clearly was eager, as he said, not to engage with Musk directly. But he did say, Aaron, it was really interesting, reflecting on his over half century of work, that this has been a half century of extraordinary progress in, in science, in, 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 in public health. But uh, when it came to the political discourse, uh, he said there's been an erosion, and he lays a lot of it on social media. And of course, he's been in the middle of this. Uh, he's been he was targeted all throughout the pandemic uh, for the decisions that he advised and the advice he was giving uh, to policymakers about uh, how we should proceed to deal with that pandemic. And uh, to the point where he he had uh, significant security threats that required around the clock security, which he says in this podcast that is going to have to continue after he leaves his post hmm. at the end of this month. So, um, you know, he has pretty strong feelings about the erosion of our public discourse and the role social media has played in it. Well, you know, and Musk did something else, which I, I it sort of took me aback on on Twitter, even, even amidst all of this. He was challenged, Musk was, uh, on Twitter by the former NASA astronaut, uh, Scott Kelly. Musk had brought up the concept of gain of function research, which is basically scientific research that causes um, a disease pathogen to be more infectious and potentially lethal. And uh, he suggested that Dr. Fauci was responsible for the deaths of, quote, millions right. of people. I mean, I, I, as for Fauci, the quote is he lied to Congress and funded gain of research function that killed millions of people. Uh, for Musk to suggest that Fauci caused millions of deaths, what do you, what do you even say to that? What does Fauci say to that? Well, he did address this issue, and a lot. It has to do with the lab in Wuhan and the research that that was uh, funded by the NIH. That he uh, argues, I think, pretty persuasively, actually helped detect uh, what was uh, what was going on. And there have been several studies. Aaron released this summer, independent studies uh, that kind of supported uh, Fauci's uh, theory that this came from a wet market. Uh, in in China. Uh, but he, uh, listen, this is a guy who, through his work on AIDS, as well as this pandemic and several others, has uh, arguably saved tens of millions of lives. Uh, and so, you know, I think he is, as much as anything, bewildered by this. Uh, I did push him a little because he likes to use words like that. Uh, and he's mostly outraged about the impact it's had on his family. And he's he made that very, very clear, yeah. and and their personal safety and their comfort. Uh, but uh, he's very comfortable with the contributions that he made, the decisions he made. He says he's ready to testify before Congress. The Republicans say they're going to call him uh, before Congress. He said uh, that gets the Brooklyn up in him, and he's looking forward to cooperating in any way. And he hopes that it's a constructive review uh, and not just a political exercise. 